Hey guys, welcome back. Today's a very quick video regarding the last engraving technique I did with this baking powder. Somebody did comment to say it's not baking powder, it's actually baking soda you need. Now, I didn't actually know these were two different things, but apparently they are. So yeah, I went out to my local supermarket and I found I can actually get this stuff very easily. It's called bicarbonate of soda, which it is baking soda. And on the side there, hopefully we can pick that up. It does say it contains a borax substitute. So I think that's good news for us because I think this product will work really well. We just need to mix this like we did before with the baking powder. Just mix it with hot water and stir it until it's all dissolved. So I've got a mixture here. It's still quite a bit milky, but that's probably because I did put a lot of this in. Probably too much. I think once it stops dissolving, that's when you know it is too much. But I got my mixture here. It's in a sealed container. So hopefully, it won't crystallize as easy as the borax substitute did. So yeah, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get another sheet of our plywood. We're gonna put some masking tape down the middle. I'm gonna paint one half of it with the bicarb of soda mix, and the other half I'm just gonna leave completely clear. I'm gonna engrave an image right down the middle, and then we'll be able to tell, you know, if it's if it is actually better to use bicarb of soda. One side will have the engraving with the bicarb of soda, which hopefully will be darker, and the other side will be probably be lighter because there's nothing gonna be there. All right, this has been drying. I have left it for about an hour. I have things to do, but I've come back to it. It is completely bone dry. Now, I don't know if you can see again, same with the borax. It has left some like dry crystals on top, but they are very, very fine. So our plan is to try and get an image engraved roughly here. And then uh, this will obviously be the bicarb of soda and this will be the control. And yeah, we'll try and get a dead center. I probably won't be able to get a dead center, but I will try. And hopefully one side should be darker and one side should just be like a standard, quite light brown engraving. So we'll take this over to the laser now and we will give it a go. Right, after running that engraving then on the half and half, so half was the bicarbonate soda, half was nothing on the wood, and that's the result we got. So to be fair, that is very close to what our borax did. Here's one of our test pieces with borax. That was a very small image done, you know, low settings, high speed. So yeah, as you can see, that has actually turned out really well. So yeah, that means I can get this stuff, the bicarbonate of soda, very easily in pretty much any supermarket I can go to near me. As opposed to borax or borax substitute. I haven't seen this stuff in shops. You know, I've, I've always had to order it online when I've wanted some. So yeah, this is really good news. I'm definitely going to be using this in the future. But it's fantastic news for us in the UK. As I said, the bicarbonate soda is very easy to get hold of. And uh, yeah, you can start doing much darker ingrays. This will look fantastic now as well for doing your little lettering and stuff like that. So yeah, all you would need to do with that is just put a quick clear coat over the top. And uh, yeah, that would seal that in lovely. Again, it worked great with like name plaques and stuff. So, you know, if you had a nice wooden sign you wanted dark lettering on, you just paint the uh, a bicarbonate soda mix on it. And uh, yeah, just engrave it and then seal it and it'd look amazing. But I hope you found this useful, guys. Just remember, give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if you'd learned something new here today. And yeah, if you're not already, guys, subscribe down below. I really do appreciate it. You all have a good one. ta -da.